So I'm going to show you how to create a map in ArcGIS Online that is collaborative and does real-time updates with a Google spreadsheet. So there are a couple settings we have to put on the Google spreadsheet for it to work. There's also one caveat about this. It will work if you update rows, if you delete them, if you change the information. It will work just fine. It does not apply to columns. So if you change the columns in any way, like let's say you want to add an extra column at the end of the spreadsheet, it will not show up in the pop-ups. It will only show up in the attribute table. So one recommendation I might have is to create a template for yourself and use that as much as you can. If you do need to update the columns, if you need to add another one, you will mostly ha likely have to re-upload the spreadsheet. But for the most part, it will work for rows. You can add as many rows as you want of data. It will be able to pick that up just fine. Another thing I might add is I always use latitude and longitude coordinates because it is easier for ArcGIS Online to understand. If you use address information, you may have to do some tests just to see how well it picks up the data, especially if you're working with international data. Address structures are different in multiple countries. So you may have some issues with it being able to render data if you are using addresses versus latitude and longitude. So just to kind of minimize the amount of data editing, I always use lat long to just make it easier. All right, so a couple settings that we need to add is to share the spreadsheet to ArcGIS Online, click on File, Share, and Publish to Web. We have a couple of settings we need to check. This web page needs to be set to CSV comma separated values. And then we need to make sure in the published content and settings that the checkbox here for automatically republish when changes are made is checked. If this is not checked, it will not update your data on the map. And then if this is not selected, the CSV, it will not upload correctly to ArcGIS Online, and I can talk a little bit more about that while we upload the spreadsheet. So the link that we actually want is this link right here, so we're gonna copy that, and then go back to ArcGIS Online. To add this information, I'm gonna click on the Map tab, And then I'm going to click on the drop down and select add layer from URL. I'm going to paste the link for the Google spreadsheet in this field for URL. And you'll see right here that the type automatically shows up as CSV. If this does not show up, go back and republish the spreadsheet and just make sure that it's not stuck on that web page setting. If it's on the web page setting, it will not successfully work. You can also check it by looking at the end of the URL, just make sure that it says CSV in order for the layer to correctly show on the map. So we'll do next. And then usually we'll pick this option on default. But this option for reference the file from the URL and add it to the map should be checked. We'll do next. And we can tell that it's successfully reading our spreadsheet because all of our column headers show up. So check the types and make sure the types make sense for the data that you want to show up in that field. And we'll do next again. And it's able to pick up our latitude and longitude. So that's good, we'll do add to map. And we can see our data already show up on the map. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just gonna save this. And then let's say I want to remove this point for Minneapolis and I want to add a point for Northfield, Minnesota. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to our spreadsheet and if I scroll to the bottom, here is our entry for Minneapolis. And I'm actually just going to delete that row and replace it with Northfield. So Northfield, Minnesota. 
and I'm gonna say 2023 and I'll have to pull the latitude and the longitude coordinates for Northfield. Just make sure that when you add the latitude and the longitude that if it is west or south that the coordinates have a negative otherwise it will not show up in the correct spot. All right so we have this new record added to our spreadsheet and just for good measure I'm going to refresh this. You don't always have to do it but I'm just going to do it to be on the safe side and I'm going to go back to our ArcGIS online map and I'm going to refresh it. And we can see that our point already updated. Our Minneapolis point is now gone and the point for Northfield, Minnesota has appeared. So it's just important to know that while you can have multiple people editing the spreadsheet at the same time and it will reflect on the map, you will not see the changes until you refresh the map. So it's not going to be like a traditional Google application where you see usernames and real-time edits just on your same screen. It doesn't quite work that way, but you can have multiple people editing the spreadsheet and that it will sync on the map. So just make sure to refresh it and that you are saving your map in order to preserve the edits. So that is how you can add a Google Sheet and sync it to ArcGIS Online. Good luck with your map editing and all of your projects.